Hello and welcome to Matt Loves Eurovision. It's my Eurovision 2023 Top 37 Countdown. It's place number 10. It's France, Lazara and Evidemont. Uh, please do click the subscribe button, ring that notification bell and like, share and comment below. The link to the music video is also in the description as well as a link to my blog post. So this is the first entry in my top 10 of Eurovision 2023 and it is the Grand Dame of the contest, France. They're one of the founder members of Eurovision. They've only missed a couple of um, uh, contests in all of that time. They are five times winners and they were the first country to reach the three, to win three times. They were the first country to win four times and they were the first country to win five times. It has admittedly been a long time since that last victory, that fifth victory. That was back in 1977, which remarkably was even before even I was born. They came a close second very recently in 2021, of course, with voila. Um, so can Lazara uh, go one better in Liverpool? Um, France seemed set to hold a national final this year. Uh, they have done last, uh, they had one last year and the year before, and they've, uh, so they've done it quite a bit recently. But then that kind of disappeared or got cancelled or whatever. And then it announced that Lazara, who real name is Fatima Zara Hafti, uh, was to represent France with her entry Evidemment, which was released a little bit later. Um, she is a French Canadian, uh, and viewers may uh, rem well remember that French Canadians have had some success at Eurovision in the past, uh, a certain Celine Dion. Um, the song is co written by Lazara, uh, along with award winning Montreal. Uh, music producers uh, um, Banks and Ranks, uh, they're, they're a duo. They are also the um, co-producers of uh, of the song. So it's quite a French Canadian um, production. Um, it's a it's a very it's a real fusion of kind of very a very French chanson feel, um, but allied to a kind of modern thumping sort of disco beat, and then linked with the sort of some standout vocal moments from. Uh, from Lazara. Um, I think this is a really good entry from France. Uh, it combines a genuine sense of Frenchness, but with something that is really catchy and is very up-tempo and sort of, you know, combines sort of the best of both worlds. Um, Lazara kind of brings a lot of poise and drama and elegance, um, and as well, the whole thing is a sort of a, a toe-tapping success. Sadly, I didn't get to see Lazara at uh, London Eurovision party. Unfortunately, she had to withdraw <coughs> from both that and also from Eurovision concert for um, personal reasons. But I think, you know, all the signs that she'll be a very engaging performer on the big stage. Um, she likes to have a bit of fun and tease her followers as well. Um, she got the fandom in an enormous frenzy uh, uh, back a few, uh, well, a couple of months ago when she said on made some cryptic post on Instagram saying that it was stopping something and there was a big drama in her life and uh, people assumed that that was it she was withdrawing and there was this is going to be a huge thing what's going on turns out she was announcing that she was going gluten free uh, I think she knew what she's doing she just decided to stir the pot uh, somewhat so she just liked to have a little bit of fun as well as being sort of very graceful and grand and in her performances um I think this is going to be it's probably is the dark horse of the contest this year. Uh, we obviously have a couple of very, you know, we have a huge favourite, and then we have the kind of one that it main rival to it. We think they think at the moment, but I think this is probably turning out to be the main dark horse. It's called Crept and Crept Up in uh, the Eurovision Scoreboard app, and also in fan polls as well. It's done very well in the AGA um, fan poll. Um, it's gone up in the betting, although that's betting is always to be taken with a pinch of salt because it's 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 just reflected of people putting bets on, and you know that could come from anywhere. So you know the UK always used to be high up in bets, even when it had really poor songs. So take that one with a pinch of salt. Um, but it's done well in the simulated jury votes of Euro Jury recently. Um, so I think we're I think we're fairly safe to say that this um, uh, could easily be top ten, possibly even higher. Um, is there a chance this could do like a Jamal and Duncan Lawrence and finish high in both the jury and the televote without necessarily winning either of them, but enough combined to win overall? Um, I think it's 
Still more likely that the win will come from one or two countries, Sweden, of course, being one of those countries. Um, but I don't think we should rule Lazara out from a shock win. It is possible, uh, particularly if the juries don't go, don't landslide for Sweden, as some people might think they were, and they go have they go towards Lazara. Anyway, we won't have long to find out. Um, but do join me when we carry on up the t the top ten. Take care for now. Bye bye.